kitchen. Norwex with the kitchen is my favorite room to use it in. It is my favorite by far because it gets the most use. My top four products in the catalog, my number one is the Enviro cloth. Can't live without it. Couple that with the window cloth. That's a pair that you do not separate. The window cloth and the Enviro cloth are, it's a pair like Burt and Ernie. You don't separate them, right? So top two products, obviously. Window cloth and Enviro cloth, hands down. But past that, my number one and two products that I actually use daily are in the kitchen. Why? Because I know most of you probably deep clean, deep clean your house every single day. You're diligent. You spend three hours a day deep cleaning and I have, I rest assured, I know that you probably do that. I personally do not. So there is a room in the house though that I clean multiple times a day and it is the kitchen, okay? We have so many fun products for the kitchen that make life easier, cleaner, which is my favorite, cleaner and safer for your family while saving you time and money. So this is the system that I use. This is my fun stuff in the kitchen. We're gonna cover this pretty quickly, including one demo. So that'll be fun. We are gonna demo my number two favorite product in the catalog. Um, okay, so in the kitchen, most of you have a dish rag, right? Or maybe a sponge, a dish rag or a sponge that you set at the sink and you do dishes with. That probably is the same product that you wipe your counters down with. And then most of us have something hanging on our dishwasher or our oven to dry our hands with, right? Or maybe I've gone to houses and I see it looped around the refrigerator and just hanging there to dry your hands with. Or maybe you hand drew a lot of dishes and you dry your dishes with that. So that's what's set up in most people's kitchen. Um, in my Norwex kitchen, this is the system I use because you're not going to get that stinky dish rag smell. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You can taste that in your nose right now. Um, and you're going to be able to know that no matter what has happened, no matter if when you were not in the room, your child spilled something on the floor and they took your cloth and they took your dish rag and they cleaned up the floor and threw it in the sink, no matter what they were cleaning up, it's fine because it has the backlog. Remember that self-purifying agent? All of the microfiber that you're gonna see here with the exception of this one, all of the microfiber that you see here is one two hundredths the size of a human hair. So a powerful punch packed in that cleaning ability as well as it has the backlog. The backlog helps it to self-sanitize, self-purify as it dries. Most items, in, in, in non-high humidity. If you have dripping wet humidity, it is going to take longer for your claws to dry. In that scenario, I recommend popping them in the dryer at the end of the night, um, just for your own peace of mind. And then when you pull them out of the dryer the next morning, um, they are self-sanitized because they are fully dry. So in regular humidity, just hang it up by the tag or drape it over the stove handle or whatever you have to do let that dry, go to bed, wake up, they're clean, they're fresh, they're ready for the next day. So we have a couple of items here. One, we have the kitchen towel. Look at this bad boy. This is what most of us have hanging, some version of this, hanging on our stove. Here's what yours doesn't do. I can put, spill two cups of water on this countertop, lay it down, and it's going to absorb that full two cups of water, okay? I can then go to the sink, Bring that out, spill more water, take the wet towel, put it down, and it's gonna absorb all of that water too. Can your dish rag do that? No, it cannot. Um, because they're not equipped to. Regular terry cloth kitchen products aren't equipped to do that. Plus, this has the back box, so I love that. Super absorbent, super soft, Lots of fun colors, lots of fun colors. Now, right off the bat, you're gonna notice that a kitchen cloth has a different weave. Do you see that? The Enviro cloth looked like this. See that tight together, close knit ribbing? This has a broader, a broader, farther apart ribbing. Can you see that? Um, this is designed for the kitchen. That wide set apart ribbing they, Norwex knows that in your kitchen, what do you usually pick up? Things like breadcrumbs, sugar, flour spills, 
food messes, right? We don't want that food embedded in the fibers of our cloth. So they designed it a little bit differently so that those food, that food gets caught in those channels and then when you rinse it away, it releases it easier. It has all the same cleaning power as the Enviro cloth. All the same power when we rubbed the raw chicken on the plate and then I licked the chicken plate. I would feel absolutely confident doing it with my kitchen towel. They all have the same ability. I would feel perfectly confident using this kitchen item to do that same demo. So I have at times started cleaning, deep cleaning my kitchen with a kitchen cloth ended up just being lazy and not going to get an Enviro cloth and ended up cleaning my entire house with a cloth this size, with a kitchen cloth right here. I cleaned, started in my kitchen, worked my way to the living room, ended in the bathrooms, ended in the bathrooms, yes, cleaning the toilet with my kitchen cloth and then I laundered it. So they have all the same cleaning capability as an Enviro cloth. They're just designed for your kitchen. So what I tell people is do all the same cleaning all the same cleaning, just keep your kitchen stuff in your kitchen. Whatever happens in your kitchen, whether it be food spills, grease splatters, dog piddles, kid barks, just use your kitchen stuff and clean it up. If you can't do that, go grab your Enviro cloth. But for me, all the life in the kitchen is contained within these products. So right off the bat, we have the kitchen set, the kitchen towel, which is wonderful, super absorbent, the kitchen cloth, you can get those in contrasting colors if you like. You can mix and match your colors, or you can get the set. That If you buy it in the set with the same color palette, it is slightly cheaper. Slightly cheaper, a couple bucks. So, but if you have, oh no, I must have a blue and, blue and gray color palette. Totally fine, do that too. Um, I usually, I just laundered them, but, and so I think there's somewhere, oh yeah, there they are, these are my kitchen ones. My seamist kitchen towels. I'll actually use these because I'll put it on. Um, this is what is usually locked onto my stove. When I say locked, how many of you have been working in the kitchen, you're drying your hands or maybe you're hand drying your dishes with a towel that you have no idea if it's been dropped on the floor. You have no idea if somebody dipped it in the pasta water and now you're drying your dishes with, right? How would you love it if there was a place to dry your hands that you know has never been anywhere other than on people's hands. This is the towel. This is the chenille hand towel. I believe in these for the kitchen and the bathroom. That's my places that I use these, kitchen and bath, because they have that self-purifying action. So even if your child runs their hands under the water and then maybe they don't use soap correctly, as long as they put their hands under the water and then they've dried them, their hands will be free of bacteria more so than if they would have used soap because about 90% of us don't actually wash our hands correctly. I don't like to have to think when I wash my hands and think, did I do it right? Did I, did I do it long enough? Did I do it correctly? Did I let them air dry? I don't want to think about that. Run them under water, dry your hands, they're clean. So this is what I do. I like this because it locks on. Here is my method. See the tag right here? See the tag? I slip this little notch, you see that? Very easy, go up through the back side of your handle. I take this little loop, see the little loop right there? The little loop, and I just pull the bottom side, the fluffy side, through the loop. That's it, very simple. I just work that through the loop. And look at that, it hangs there so neatly. Let's say you're drying your hands you know, you're fixing a salad, chopping onions, you do a little quick swish of your fingertips, you dry your hands. This doesn't smell, your hands don't smell, everybody's happy. But how about this, when you open, if I were to have this hanging on my stove handle, and I do this enough times, this actually has some grip to it. Um, but normal t kitchen towels end up doing what? Falling on the floor, that's what happens. Naturally, that's what happens. With this, look, it is locked on. I can actually open the door with this. Oops, open the door. It's not going anywhere. And then the only thing you have to do there is just reset it up nicely. And this will hang on my stove for every bit of four to six weeks before I unhook it and clean it. Um, so that, these are a great option, kitchen towel, kitchen closet, but 
but there's more. I want you to own my top two favorite products in the entire catalog. Oh, the kitchen comes in a wide variety of fun colors, so everyone's color palette can be matched. Now, let's say you have a very specific bathroom. Your bathroom is in sunflower yellow, and they do not carry sunflower yellow bathroom products. Have no fear. This does the exact same job in the bathroom that it can do in the kitchen. So if you have a sunflower yellow bathroom, order a sunflower yellow towel and put it in your bathroom. It does the exact same thing. Don't let a label define how you use your Norwex. It's your Norwex. Use it how you want. If you have a sunflower yellow bathroom, buy the sunflower yellow kitchen and put it in your bathroom. Be a rebel. You can do it. Okay. My number two, one and two favorite most used products in the entire catalog, and you're going to get a demo from one of them. Um, later, I'm going to do a demo with this, but it will be a separate video. Look for that as the counter cloth versus paper towel video. Counter cloth versus paper towel. Counter cloth is my all-time number one most used product in my entire house. Norwex that is out is Norwex that gets used. Hear me when I say, if you tuck this in a drawer, no one's going to remember to use that. If you have paper towels set out on your counter, people will reach for a paper towel. If where you put that paper towel roll, most of us have a designated spot. Most of us don't just willy-nilly put our paper towels places. Most of us have a paper towel holder or that spot that gives us the warm comfies, right? We have it, it's, there's a place for it. Um, so what if you just took that and replaced that with the counter cloth box set? Counter cloth, these are the size of a selecticize, bounty selecticize, right? They come in a package of three. This happens to be the coastal colors. This happens to be the earthy colors. Super soft. What do you do with them, Stephanie? What do you do with them? What do you do with something this size? Well, first off, this will easily hold about, what was that? A third of a cup of water. Or did I do a half? I don't remember, either a third or a half a cup of water. You said two. Fully, all by itself, all by itself, super absorbent. Mom. What I love is, let's say my child is, built, is pouring his cereal, right? He spills the milk. And I say, well, clean it up. If the paper towels are sitting there and a select a size can do the job, he gets some this amount. He swishes it around a little bit. Then he gets this amount more and finishes the job. All of that goes in the garbage pile, right? I mean, you don't reuse your paper towels any more than I do. Here's the problem with that. Every single day in North America alone, 51,000 trees are cut down and destroyed for our paper towel addiction, North America's paper towel addiction. That's us guys, we're North America. We did it, 51,000 trees every single solitary day, day in, day out. And that number is only gonna go up if we don't do something about it. That doesn't cover toilet paper, school paper, paper napkins, paper plates. That doesn't cover any of that. That's strictly for our one use, throw away paper towel addiction. It has been two and a half years since I had to purchase a single paper towel. How did you do that? Well, this is how I did that. Because when you stack these up and you leave these where the paper towels are, guess what? People will use them. This is a reusable source. Two years later, these still look, these will still look fantastic. Mine, I don't have the house set out. I have this set out because I use more than this house can contain. This house can easily house 12 of these. These are sprinkled all throughout the house. There is six of these in here right now. Do you see this is six right there? There are six folded up here. I can then put six and six. This can easily hold 18 counter claws. Or I can stack them like this and then also put, I can also, look, I can also put my kitchen towels and my kitchen claws folded up neatly because Norwex that's out is Norwex that gets used. This is an area where you don't want to hide these away. These are pretty. You want these out and you want people using them.
Um, what a difference one small change can make. Don't you want to be able to do one small thing? Now, when you switch to orcs, you're doing a big thing. You are doing your part to save the earth, to save our environment, to give our kids a better future and a healthier skin and healthier breathing. Who doesn't want that? Um, but this is one small way. So this is my, holds a bunch of Norwex right now. We have a bunch of dirty. It's about laundry day for me. Um, so I figured I would show you all the things and then go ahead and launder them and fill that back up. But counterclaws are my number one go-to because I don't ask anybody to learn how to rinse them, hang them up, fold them away, and put them up. I tell everybody, use them, abuse them. Use them for all the things in the day, no matter what you're cleaning up. You can use the countercloth, toss it in the sink. At the end of the day, I rub it against itself, get all the food particles out, and then I rinse those out and let them dry. Let's say the kids had hot dogs and they got a splotch of ketchup all dripping down. They're not going to pre-lick. They're not going to, uh, they're not going to do that. They're going to take their camera cloth, which we also use as our family napkins. So not only have I cut out the paper towels, we don't have the use for paper napkins either, the, you know, nice little china napkins. We just grab the counter cloths. They'll wipe their face with a big old glob of spaghetti sauce or, or ketchup or mustard or whatever life is living on this. And they'll throw it in the sink. And at the end of the day, I just concentrate on that little bit of a red stain there, you know, that red stuff. Get that out, hang that up, fold that up, put it right back in the house. We reuse it the next day. Love this product. This is a game changer right here. This right here is a game changer. I have people that actually set this in their bathroom because they don't like the idea of using the same towel that somebody else just used. That just grosses them out and I totally respect that. Or maybe they have a daycare where you really are required to get a new towel each time. Totally, again, I totally respect that. They'll fill this counter cloth box set with, with three, four full sets, which holds 12 of these claws very easily. And then as a person washes their hands, they take out their thing, they dry their hands, they dry their hands very well, they toss it in a pile, that they, the, the homeowner then rinses those out, hangs them up, lets them dry, the next morning puts them back in the little house and you're good to go again. Reusable, two year warranty. Mine are gonna go much longer than two years. Mine are already going way longer than two years. Um, and so, wonderful product. Here's my game changer here. How many of you have had that sneaky dish cloth? Y'all know what I'm talking about. I bet you for most of you, you'll say your grandma is famous for that. I absolutely adore my mother-in-law, but she has a stinky dishcloth. I, I don't know why. She doesn't know why. I think she has a more humid sink area or something until Norwex. And now she doesn't have that anymore. What a gift I can give her, right? Okay, so the dish net. This is the thing. You're going to use all things food related. So just to give you an idea, my daughter just cooked my grandbaby eggs. How would you guys clean this? Most of us don't want this gunking up our dishcloths, right? Mm -hmm. So we would burn this off or scrape this off. With this, I just go in with the dish net. Go in with the dish net, clean it right up. No problem, no pre-rinsing, I don't ever stress about it. The food particles will fill this up and then you just rinse it out, right? No matter what the dirty dishes are, I do not pre-rinse. I go in with my dish net. I love this thing, I swear by this thing. This should be in every house. But do you want to see an unexpected use for it that I hadn't planned on? Like, I didn't think about it. Um, okay. I have three grandbabies. One of them is learning to feed himself. Although, sometimes don't we wish we could just feed them, feed them ourselves so we never had the mess. Come over and see what happened at breakfast today. Just breakfast, people. We're not talking. We've collected it for years and years. This was breakfast. Just let's scan the area here. This was this was eggs. Get get a close up up here. This is where our video is going to begin. Okay. So what would you typically? You're going to come back and do this. Maybe you're going to use paper to. Oh, did you see the seat? Look at the seat. Like, did any of this egg go in his face? That's what I want to know. I mean, he's a growing boy. But look, I'm taking my dish net. Okay, dish net. And I'm just going to go in. I'm using this first just to scoop up all of the food particles. That's what I'm doing. I'm scooping up the food. I'm just getting it in here because I don't want there to be food still in this tray and on this seat when he comes in later for lunch. 
and fills the seat then. But I don't want him picking food from earlier and eating it. So automatically you can see the food is gone, right? The food is all, look at this. The food is all in the net. Look at that, all in the net. Let's go show you how to do this now. All right, come on over. You've got all the food in the net, right? This is where some of the stink comes. You know that dish rag that stinks in the bottom? is usually because it got left there with a little bit of food particles. That's called bacteria, a little bit of food particles. Or soap residue. Soap residue and food particles, that's what causes the stink. So, you want to rinse that out. Is this going to come clean? Look at this, guys. This is like... Ew, egg, egg upon egg in there, right? So you just rub that against itself. Just like the microfiber, really. You just rinse that out. I will go in with peanut butter, jelly, cream cheese, um, dried on food, dried on casserole that I baked yesterday, reheated today. The part we ate yesterday that is now black. Look at that. Nope, no more food. Okay, follow me real quick. Like, yes, you're going to get a little dizzy. You'll be fine. Come on. Because did y'all see the floor? Like, he's not a contained eater. He's messy. There's egg over here. His chair is over there. I don't know why there is egg over here. But I'm just going to go scoop up the food chunks. Just scooping it up. That's it. It's not falling through the net. It's not. It's not doing any of that. Notice I'm using the same thing I'm going to clean my dishes with. I'm also using on the floor. Now, I could. That was a chunk of brownie. Brownie and egg. Breakfast of champions, my friends. Brownie and egg. Is he is living his best life, right? Eat a dessert after breakfast. That's right. you got to have dessert followed up. By the time you've hidden your egg all over your high chair, you need a brownie. Yeah. And look at that. And we are clean. And we are ready for him to make his mess at lunch. Now, you remember I told you I was going to tell you if an item did not have back look? This item does not have backlog, okay? It doesn't have backlog because it doesn't need it. This is not a this is not a fibrous item that contain that that is things are gonna get caught up in. This is not one two hundredths the size of a human hair. This is a different material. This does a wonderful job at picking up and also relinquishing all of the food that it comes in contact with. So you will never see me pre-rinse my dishes. You do, however, see me just go in dried food and all. That comes in a two pack. I love the dish net. It used to be my favorite number one product, then counterclaws came out, and to be able to save the earth and save 51,000 trees is not on me. I do not kill any trees in a day from my North American paper towel addiction. I clean, I, I kill none. But come back for the next video because it's going to be the absorption rate from the countercloths to the paper towel. And let's see how many paper towels you're wasting. So, okay, bye. I hope you like the kitchen stuff. There's more, but for now, we're just going to cover the basics.